Warren? Yeah. Yep. I'm experienced now, professional. Y'all been broke, been knocked, knocked down a couple of times. Bad! I've done something new for this fight. I've wrestled with an alligator. That's right, I have wrestled with an alligator. I've done tussled with a whale. Out of hands, buck, lightning, those under in bed. That's bad. On the last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make that a success. My name is Omari the Banger Jones. Uh, I got the name the Banger when I was like eight years old when I first started boxing. My name is uh, Carl Jones. I'm uh, Omari Jones' uh, father. Jason Galarza. I'm the coach at School of Hard Knocks. Craig Danger Duncan here, uh, ex-pro. He, he has all that it takes to become a world champion. He's been boxing, uh, I'll say, about, about eight years. training Amari for probably the last nine, ten months. Um, I've been watching him grow since he's been a little kid. He's been, you know, training with other trainers and uh, had the opportunity, you know, that his dad came in with him and um, sat down and we spoke and he wanted Amari to get, you know, step his game to the next level. I've been involved with the pros for over eight years and amateurs for over 15 years. So, I've, you know, I've been doing this for a while. Been pretty good at it. He's uh, went to the nationals a few times. He uh, was number two in the country at, at, at one point. Dollar in the dream, as you see on the shirt, it's uh, it's my brand, and it's basically not only a brand, but it's a lifestyle. As you can see, the stars, it, it represents me chasing my dreams day in and day out. Uh, me on the moon, just boxing and living my dream right now, just chasing my goals and doing what I do best and, and what I love, which is boxing. He pretty much put himself into boxing because he just, he, he liked the boxing and a lot of stuff he learned, he was self-taught. And so when we saw the talent he had without someone teaching him, with, with him teaching himself, then that's when we kept further, further in his career in boxing. And, uh, you know, he's, he's pretty known for the kids in the community and, uh, you know, well-respected young man kind of laugh sometimes because some of the kids don't even know my name they just call me Amari's dad <laughs> so it's kind of funny Amari's potential is man it's uh it could go far it could go real far in the game intelligent young man uh with a lot of accolades behind him uh he you know scholar and the kid can fight well the boxing has kept him uh focused uh this is this is what he uh, wants to do. He's been wanting to do this since he's been eight, and he knows the hard work that's involved. With the style he has right now, he's you know making him a boxer puncher. He got a nice long jab. His range is real good. He got uh, really good balance, really good reflexes, and he's a student of the game. Man, it's it was it was an honor for me to meet this young man because with all the hard work that he puts in. Um, it shows that hard work really does pay off. He wanted to play a little basketball, but I, I told him if you're going to box, you know, it's almost a one sport 
thing, you know, you got to be dedicated to the boxing and he's been dedicated to the boxing. It's almost at the argument to stop him from training sometime because he he trains so hard. He just feels that he, he you know, he got to keep and he has been improving in every area. And uh, for Mari uh, to have 30 to 35 fights for an amateur of his uh, style is a lot of guys really feel that he's had a lot more fights, but you know we've taken our time and let him learn, not just put him in the ring and let him fight. When I step in the ring, the the feeling is great, just knowing that you you work hard. So it's it's not nobody that that outworked me or however they're training, but I know that I, I can put my talent with their talent, and, and we see who's the best. And the outcome is you know you want you want to win. So just knowing, stepping into that ring, just knowing that you put in that, that hard work and dedication and, and it's gonna pay off, it's, it's the best feeling. He, he shocks me in a lot of ways because no matter what we put him through, any kind of workouts that we put him through, he, he exceeds to a high level. We chop it up every now and then on the phone. I send him texts, I send him videos or stuff that he needs to watch and learn. And then, you know, we come in the gym and we make it happen. You know, we got a good squad. You know, I got uh, uh, Craig Duncan, my right-hand man. You know, he does conditioning and, you know, we do the boxing. Every time that he, either he's at my house on Sundays running the hills, you know, he's always wanted to be that first, he's always the first guy there and the last guy to leave. Uh, when we're running the hills, he always wants to be the first one up the hills, you know. Um, when he does his uh, training here at the gym, I mean, he's here, he's, he knows exactly what he's got to do. He doesn't, we don't really got to tell him, yo, hey, go jump rope, or, hey, go shadow box or anything like that. He comes in, he knows the game plan and he, he sticks to it. And that's why he's going to places that he's going now, man. Training in the gym day in and day out is definitely hard work and dedication uh, because, you know, you can't, you don't play boxing. You can play any sport, but you can't play boxing. My mindset is it. It's like a, a switch turns on instantly when I, when I step in the gym training for a fight because people have lost their life in the ring and, you know, in a fight, sparring, boxing in general, people have got, gotten hurt. So my, my mode in the gym is, is serious, training for a fight, the preparation, running in the morning, uh, coming in the gym, you know, and just, just training, giving it all, all I got. Well, as, as a team collectively, you know, Sky's the limit for Amari. He, he wants to win the gold medal. Uh, my coaches, they, they're going to guide me right, uh, both of them. They're going to guide me right, uh, telling me certain stuff, getting me prepared for the fight in, in nationals, physically and mentally, just, just letting me know I can, I can go in there and do my best and, and be great at what I do. For him, uh, this nationals that he's getting ready for, man, he's put so much work into this. So much work into it. Um, he's actually went um, above and beyond what it takes to, to be a champion, which he is. At the end of the day, I have nationals coming up very soon, next week or so, and I want to win the gold medal, which I will uh, go to international tournament, win gold there. And in the next three years, you'll see me in the 2024 Olympics, and then I'll take over the pros and turn professional after the Olympics. I'm Amari the Banger Jones and I got now. I got a dollar in the dreams.